Alright, let's see. What am I expecting out of this game? Hopefully it scares me. Let's see. Oh, okay. When you are exploring the mind, everything is possible. Think outside the box. Is that what we're doing? Is exploring the brain? Mm hmm. Yeah. Normal. This is not a pipe. It's a penis. Synonyms. Aren't they fun? AI research the influence of social media and the brain scanning technology have led to three important developments the creation of the TSB maintained democratic structure for media based with technology, complex international brain scanning regulations that project proje protect private data, the undeniable tension between the world's biggest economies and the wake of new AI breakthroughs. Under the, this context, the Dreamwalker Project, which performs academic research on the human brain, Associated with the brain, to get understand the uh, collaborative deal with the TSB to make sure you keep your research alive. God, I can't read that fast. I, can't, I had zero retention. Zero retention. Please Almost. sign right here. Let me take a picture of you with the box. A picture? Why? It's part of the protocol. Oh. Okay. I don't need to remind you of sensitive materials. I know. Thanks. Good. Take care. Okay. All right, a box. Important. Picture of a lady. iPhone. Russell, I think. did you receive it? It just arrived. Good. Listen, priority is to find the real cause of death. Early reports indicate suicide, a drug overdose, but I don't buy it. It doesn't make sense. She was too important and the timing was off. She was a lawyer at Go AT, right? More like the vice president. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So now you see how deeply in trouble you'd be if anything leaks out. You're putting me in a tough spot here, Tom. Not if you're careful, Russell. Just make sure nothing leaks out. Why not wait for the full autopsy? Why do you need me? We need to move faster, and if there's something bigger going on, we need to investigate. This is a one-time chance to catch them. Go AT has been dodging us for way too long. So you want me to spy on them through her memories? No, I just want you to find out how she died, which is legal. But if I'm right, it will take us somewhere to test it. I know there's something off. We just need to find out what. All right. I'll do what I can. Good. Remember, it's because of these people we're here in the first place. Well, we don't know anything yet. We will, Russell. I've been in this for too long to know it's not just suicide. You'll see. So, I've given you access to her apartment on Stratford Avenue. They're about to wrap it up over there. The Detective Stan Becker's waiting for you. He knows you're coming. If you want to investigate the real place, you should head out there now. All right. I'll check it out. Okay, then. I'll leave you to it. Don't keep Stan waiting. Keep me posted on anything you find. Sure. See ya. What? Oh, is this Grand Theft Auto? This will be really fun for somebody who likes conspiracy theories and psychology. I like both. I'm just too stupid to understand things without on my own. <laughs> the mirror stage. Do I really want to read all that? Maybe later. Wait, what did it say? Show sub... What? Subtitles? Oh, nah. Whoops. Look at that guy's arm here. And his voice is kind of strange too. I thought I saw something on here earlier. The idea was an office lab hybrid. In reality, a cold, insufficiently funded lab. The idea was an office lab hybrid. The idea was an office lab hybrid. Why is he saying that right here at this chair? The idea was an office lab hybrid. I don't know, that's what it looks like to me.
I don't know why I'm picking this stuff up as if I'm gonna read it. I'm not reading that shit. Come on. Music? I wonder how long this game is. The end of subjectivity. The rational, scientific. It's been a lot of shutdowns lately, and this building's electrical grid is just as old. So I got a backup. Does he know that he's... I can't believe the loss of performance after adapting them to comply with the new laws. Times are changing indeed. Does he know that he's in a simulation? Why is he talking to me like he's taking me on a tour? It's kind of like the way the old Spider-Man games were. This is the I first think. thing I brought in here. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. Why is that important? Enough to even make a dialogue track. <sighs> I really need a new partner. Hard to replace Carl, though. This, okay. This is weird, man. This is weird. So close. Scanning and reconstructing real time. Final problem is head moves. Everything's too invasive. My little project. It's come a long way. What do I do? All right. I think I got to get in this thing. Put this thing in there. This will take a while. I should visit her apartment when the memory gets ready. Okay. Um. I don't think this is going to be much of a horror game. I don't know. Getting screen tears, I think. Wow, that's pretty. Go AT's new project. Quite a view. I wish I had an apartment baller as hell like this. This is like, oh my god. Look how high that shit is. I'd probably be scared to live in here. Men's clothes. Strange. She's that sleeping pills. You need a prescription for these. She got a bunch of them laid out. <laughs> so um, apparently, bloody footprints. She probably stepped on the broken shards. Vomit. Broken. Looks like something was thrown at it. Huh. I'm investigating something. So this was investigated, and so far they're tentatively saying it's suicide, but. The person I work for or something is saying that they don't, they think they got murdered or something. And uh, I guess I'm here to see. But then I'm going to go through her memories to find out, I don't know, <laughs> some sort of science project. I'm, this is, I'm like. Quite a view. Generative design and automated construction. New to this game. Just started this game. Yeah. Do you have any theories about what happened? It's a little early yet, but everything points to suicide. There are lots of loose ends as to why, especially considering who she was. The laptop, for example, is gone. You haven't been able to find it. 
<laughs> who knows how deep that thing was. Even so, I don't think there's a possibility someone sneaked in and forced her to take some pills somehow. But don't take my word for it. We don't even have the full autopsy report yet. Mm -hmm, okay. Who found her? Didn't you get the report? It was her husband. Who found her? Didn't you get the report? It was her husband. What time did he find her? The morning after. He called right away. The security cameras corroborate the time he arrived, so we don't have any reason to suspect him. Did she leave any children or family? No, no children, no brothers or sisters. Foreign parents that she didn't see much. For now, that's all I know. And a husband. Pretty regular corporate profile, if you ask me. Thanks. No problem. Okay. I think I have enough information from the real place. Time to find out what her memories have to say about what happened. Okay. This is an interesting game. Upload is ready. I've got nothing to put in there. Um. I've got nothing to put in there. Development logs of patch 1.2. Probably the most important update to date. And Carl's last contribution to the project. Uh-huh. Oh, shoot. What? Evie, ready? Yes. Okay, good. Please operate on patch 1.2. And scan for the latest memory you can find, ideally just before her death. Understood. This is kind of like Assassin's Creed in a way, but not really. It just reminds me of the Animus thing. So this is when she died. Reconstructing glass for memories. I don't think we'll ever get it right. Hello there, Joey. What was in your mind when you looked at your shadow? Could be a filtering error. Lots of missing information here, Evie. This doesn't seem to be the right moment. Yes. I wasn't able to pinpoint any further coordinates. Objective data is incomplete. Reasons? High emotional state. Hmm. She might have known she was going to die. Is there enough data to reconstruct a subjective state of the memory? Yes. Good. I'll enter the subjective state and see what I can find. Subjective reconstruction was successful, but I couldn't interpret all data. It's fine, Evie. Subjective interpretation is tough for any AI, even a special one like you. That ladder goes down to the first floor. Just 
Damn, it's strange. Could this be her as a child? It belongs somewhere in the memory, but I cannot interpret it. I need to know what it is and where it belongs. All right. I'll study it and put it in the right place. What? Reminder, at your discretion, I can momentarily free memory and processing power to deliver more accurate feedback. Processing, I can't interpret the new raw data, but the readings are the opposite of chaotic. They have a constant, rhythmic pattern. You can use the raw data interpretation interface to find where it might belong. I thought it would go there in that little weird spot, but okay. In the objective, adult version of her isn't represented. Only her shadow. Hmm. Evie, there seems to be a bugged reconstruction here. No way to fix it, right? There is incomplete data linked to this coordinate. Shouldn't be too far. Is that what that is? This goes in a bathroom or something. I can't make sense of this sound. I can't make 
sense of the sound. I can't make sense of the sound. I can't make sense of the sound. That ladder goes down to the first floor. Huh. I don't freaking know. It means so many things. Evie, do a match with clock data at this spot. Ah. Picture of a dog. Following them? Someone's knocking at the door. Someone's knocking at the door. Oh no shit. Spider web. No way out. A spider web. What's up with the hope? No way out. Oh, that's her. Okay. Ah. The water is running. Close. Maybe in the objective state. Sounds close. Maybe in the objective state. How do I switch states? right here with a mirror being violently broken. So for only time again or something. Who's Laura? Hey, 
Hey, Russell. Any good news? It wasn't a clear reconstruction, but I managed to get some objective evidence. There was a clear hand next to her, just when she was lying on her bed and the pills were all over the floor. So it seems you may be right. There was definitely somebody with her. A hand. That's all you could find? Well, Tom, I'm just getting started. Her last memories are fuzzy, and that's probably because of the psychological stress she was under. The fact that she wasn't alone was a good start. Yeah, good to know. But we need to know who it was so we can do something about it. I'll keep looking, Tom. Let's just hope the rest of the memories are in better shape. I hope so. Did you find anything else? I saw a lot of other things. I just need to understand her unconscious better. It's fine, Russell. Just keep looking. But I need something else from you. We need to get into her private email. The password. We were able to hack the words, but there are three numbers at the start that we don't know. We have only a few shots at this, so that's why I need you. Your um, password? That might be interesting to find. Hey, I'm liking this attitude. I was expecting some moral and legal sermon. Well, it's not like I'm not worried. The new regulations are like stepping in glass. Don't be. You're doing what's legally right. Send us a nice and clean scan and inspection report as required. There will be no way. I'll do what I can. Good. We're counting on you. The password ends with NAMAS. N-A-M-A-H-S. It's preceded by three numbers. Three to four tries with this password at most. So when you have something, call me. I will. See you, Tom. Bye, Russell. Okay, so I'll go back. Okay, Evie. We need to find that password. But most importantly, how and why she died. If you can isolate memories or dreams that may have a connection with the password, or emotional patterns similar to those of her death. A deep search is needed to find such patterns. It will take time. Yeah, I know. I could use some rest anyway. Understood. Search will run overnight. Optimize the processes as much as you can. Good night, Evie. Thank you. Good night. This is an interesting game. Uh. Mm, that didn't sound good. <laughs> There's never enough time. To read. Obedience to authority. No wonder this guy is such a brown noser. <laughs> Big licker. The red book? That doesn't look red at all. That looks fucking blue, if you ask me. The, sur the age of surveillance capital. Surveillance capitalism. Huh. Psychology of being the man who couldn't. Stop. I've seen the true story of a life lost in thought. David Adam. I wonder if these, some of these are real. Huh. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You think I'm going to read all that? Carl. Hmm. So, what do I owe this surprise? Russell. How oh. are you? No complaints. How about you? All good, all good, thank you. Happy to hear that. Hey, uh, I sent you an email. Okay. Yeah, and for some reason I felt like I should call you. It's nothing serious, I just wanted to call you personally. Yeah. I tell you that, well, you know, I wanted to say that regardless of our professional differences, I'm still here. If you need me. I know you know that, but I felt like I wanted to see there's no need, Carl. I know we're good, and it's never been personal, you know that. I know. I just wanted to make sure you were blessed. How are things with the TSP, but Yeah, stable, but they gave me this new case, and they don't seem very eager to respect their own laws. A murder? Yes, high profile one. Go AT, no less. Damn. Wait, can you even tell me this? You're under the same contract as I am, Carl. Mm. I wonder if it will ever end. I should probably notify you. Yeah, you should. Before they jump to conclusions. You're absolutely right. And how are you doing? Lots of change. House, work, people. Even this number will have to go. How sick of it. Nah, it's just a little. I won't lie that it feels good to have just a little bit of 
something, though. Yeah, you should try it one day. I bet it does. But you know... You gotta finish your work. Huh? Anyway, Russell, I'm glad to hear that you're okay. Let's be in touch, all right? Make sure to check that email I sent you. Sure, I'll read it. Good. Bye, my friend. Be safe. You too, Carl. Take care. Hmm. Hmm. Seems a little spurious, if you ask me. Or maybe not. It started updating on its own. Stuck at 99.9%. Why am I not surprised? The government. The dirty government. Does that ever end? I'm preparing my final work. The human experience. It's a framework for the future. All very useful. Very better. <laughs> well, technology has changed the world many times for good or bad. But you could say that we have adapted in a way. But can we adapt forever? Take the internet, for example. A great invention, even though it's presented some serious challenges to society. We're still alive. Now imagine if something as world-changing as the internet happened every year. Then add anti-aging technology to the mix, or technology to improve our brains. Maybe add general AI all in that same year. And perhaps a new type of bomb. Can we catch up and adapt fast enough? Or will we lose control and leave it all to chance? Or to a group of companies? Or maybe we'll create too much control and leave our fate in the hands of a few politicians. That's down to earth, I'd say. What do you think? <laughs> that says actually really deep thought. So what are our options? I think the scary thing is not knowing. We have to imagine that there's a powerful creature in front of us being fed by our creativity. It's not good, it's not evil. But once awakened, it will change our civilization forever. We just have to be ready. That's why we need to create a solid ethical framework things we want to protect, so the fabric of society doesn't break. Nice! <laughs> okay, about one particular scary technology. Now that we have such advanced brain scan tech, do you have any hopes of outlasting the body? Or do the possibilities of that make you even more worried? I take it slowly, but I'm excited by the possibilities. And what would you say is your biggest drive in all of this? This independent West? I'm not sure. It's... He wants everything. Not true. But why are you still using that voice for evil? There are so many good ones now. The fewer layers, the better. We don't need the emotional layer in the voice, do we? Why not? Wouldn't that make communication easier? No, it wouldn't. We've talked about this, Joshua. Getting things done between humans and understanding each other is hard enough already. Give me one good reason why I should add that to an AI assistant. What I need is her data expressed as rationally and plain as possible. Like an equation. This fantasy of human-like voices is just as stupid as it is dangerous. Excuse me? Nothing. Excuse me? Chapter two. Wow, okay, that was chapter one. Welcome, I'll be awkward. How's life? Actually really good right now, doing really good. What about yourself? Wow, so that, dude, this game is deep, too deep for me. I mean, like, I love deep shit, but dude, I'm not fast enough. All right, what about this email? Am I on Facebook? Dude, that is totally Facebook. Okay, that's my email. Carl's email, and of course, a podcast is included. Uh -huh. 
You know what? I would never have thought that. It's amazing. It really is. I mean, your parents must be very proud. Congratulations to all of you. Thanks, Phyllis. Coming back to your work, uh, you've been there from the beginning, am I right? Uh, yes. We were less than 15 people, I think. It was like uh, 30 years ago, a few months after the company started. And now you're head of technology. That's right. Amazing. So, before I ask you how smart you gotta be to do that, tell me. How did you guys move from being a small web research company with almost no investment into a company that leads on AI and pretty much every other technology for that matter? Well, uh, that's a big question. But from a motivation perspective, what drove the evolution of the company? Was there a master plan from the beginning? Did you think you would expand to so many areas of tech? Well, um, there are so many factors together. I mean, there's market share, emerging technologies, how what we already do can adapt to other markets, or, or let's say minimizing the risk, expanding. Um, of course, there was also the huge success we had at the beginning that led us to decide pretty much where we wanted to go. But a master plan from the beginning, I don't think so. <laughs> but there is one now. <laughs> well, you know, despite of what all the conspiracy memes tell you, there isn't. Just our strong core values. <laughs> yeah, helping humanity with technology, being the good guys, yada yada. Well, uh, yeah, that's what we do. Yes. I just remembered a picture I saw, like, 30 years ago, showing Bill Gates' head next to an alien skeleton. The magazine found all these similarities and urged you not to use Windows. <laughs> well, I've seen thousands of those, and they won't go away. It's funny that despite all the good a company can do, how transparent it is. You just can't erase that. It's just part of who we are. Exactly. But this leads us to one of the topics that has us here, right? Not everybody thinks you are on the right track, especially with the AI department. And we're not talking about your traditional conspiracy theory. Yes. And some of them are influential, well-respected people. I'm sure many know who I'm talking about. But yesterday, a letter appeared on the web, and it did cause a lot of noise. For the people hearing us now that don't know about it, it was from Mr. Carl Chasser, a very respected psychiatrist and scientist. This letter criticized GoAT's latest announcement, which did, in fact, make the world very, very happy and excited. Not him, clearly. <laughs> Not him. Well, he criticized it for completely missing what's essential and saying it could lead to the worst step in our evolution ever taken. Yeah, well... And give me a second. Then he says a number of reasons why this shouldn't be accepted by governments and goes on explaining in a very, if I may say, and this is only my opinion, in a very sort of poetic but cryptic way. Well, I... To be honest, I wouldn't know where to start answering the letter because the attacks are so surreal that... We sort of would have to study the letter first and try to find out its meaning. Yeah, it is cryptic. Exactly. And you know what? I'm sorry to say this, but that is a very, a very pedantic attitude. Pretty common along some intellectuals, actually. I mean, when I try to explain something to people, I don't try to confuse them first, you know? He's more than welcome to participate with his opinion. We know he's doing incredible research about the human mind, but certainly... This doesn't help anybody. I don't think he actually understands what we are doing. He is incredibly paranoid, and he is full of dangerous mysticism. He's putting in our hands the responsibility of crushing surreal things that nobody understands. While in fact, what we are doing is increasing quality of life by a big margin, and nobody can deny that. Let me tell you this. Nothing we are doing is secret. Everything is what people want and need, and we are delivering it proudly and transparently. With all due respect to Mr. Carl, I think he has a romantic and dangerous view of staying behind in progress. Pretty typical of this whole go back. You know, that's the impression I get as well, that he is incredibly paranoid, and despite how well written his letter is, his reasons are more like theories based on other, more cryptic theories. Let me read a small section of the letter for those that haven't read it. All right. It says, We are like reptiles that not long ago were fish, exploring the land for the first time, seeing how the rays of the sun blur through the water that gently covers our eyes. While we cannot yet explain or even wonder about this moving painting in front of us, we are inevitably inspired, seeking peace in the heat while we get to be one with the land. 
Veningos, our greater tools, are not the ones we know best, but all the complexity that hides behind our minds. Here we are now, beautiful reptiles, so far away from being human, thinking that because we found the trick behind the blurred sun, we now see far enough to define the range of what can be seen and the full reach of our desires. I actually like the way he went. And the fact that he is a scientist also is what makes people follow him so much. Well, that makes him intriguing, but does he give any real argument? Does he make any real point? Because you can't argue with poetry like that. That's not science. How much do we really know about his research, for example? I don't mean to discredit him or his partner, but we are talking about empiric, scientifically proved improvements here can only do good. So really, this romanticism is beautiful, but empty. When we went to the moon, you could have written a beautiful poem about the Earth and our lost relationship with it. And I bet that did happen. And it would be pretty and make sense, but would it have meant that we don't have to reach for the moon? It's like, uh, oh, I don't even know how to answer it. I agree in the fact that the letter is almost like a poem, but he does give a few reasons, however cryptic. Would you like to go over some of them? We have a few minutes left. Of course. Okay, here's one. What they want to do is mix the unmixable. If you use human behavior for problem solving, then this problem solving eventually leaks into communication. This communication is derived mainly from trial by error testing, since it would be an overpowered asset. However deep it might have been, you encourage a unidimensional form of life and you cripple all other dimensions. This isn't a problem on paper, but psychoanalysis has taught us that there is a balance between real accomplishment and effort. And from this balance, many forms of communication are partially generated, art and culture being two of them. If you suppress this with automation, you might end up needing it on a much bigger, dangerous, and ultimately unsatisfactory scale. It's a complex one. Okay, first, as I said, First, we have to interpret all this from thin air, since no references are provided, and then accept the fact that there is no evidence provided as well. This should be enough to undermine any scientific discussion, but let's give it a shot. I think that what he is trying to say is that by improving ourselves with AI, we are basically destroying our social ability, our full spectrum as human beings, and even our chances to be happy, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let me ask you this. So how is it then that with all the technology we already use day to day, the world is actually a better place than any other time on Earth? Uh, I do think there are arguments against that. We have our problems, but we are healthier, better fed, more educated. While AI houses do everyday things, we can spend that time with our friends, family, reading or exercising. We die older, we have never cured so many diseases, and the list goes on. The bad side of things, like global warming, poverty, or kids stuck on cell phones, are not technology's fault. It's us who have to learn to harness its power properly. Teach our children, like we controlled fire in the past, when we didn't even know how to write. In fact, we believe technology will bring the solution to these things, not politics. So this announcement is about the next step of that help. Less problems, more time, and even more energy to think big, to solve maybe even bigger problems. <laughs> it's like using a calculator. You can do simple equations with your mind, a pen, and a paper, but you can't simulate quantum behavior without the help of a computer. So it's time the calculator becomes something more essential. Something your instinct can depend on and use in a split second. It's just a tool. It doesn't stop making you who you are. That's just paranoia. The same that appeared on every other technological advancement. This is no different from other advances. It's just that because it's not an external tool, it makes some people nervous. I don't blame people, really, but time will tell how good this is. Like it always does. So, in a way, it's like being able to access more processing power on the fly. Like an integrated calculator. But without changing the way thoughts are processed. Exactly. You will just have more tools at a faster speed without the need to use your cell phone or charge it. And therefore, we may make better decisions and solve more problems. Right. It will enhance your this creativity crazy. and your life in general, but it won't change who you are, your emotions towards other people, and the way you socialize. You can have a drink from time to time and have a good laugh for no reason. 
It's only a fast access to it. <laughs> I want to try it. <laughs> well, you and everybody else. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're running out of time. Let me ask you one more thing. Go ahead. Do you have a master plan involving alien species? <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> I knew it. Thanks for coming, Ted. I hope you can join me again soon. Just say the word. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Ted Baza, Chief Director at GoAT's AI Department. Once again, kindly coming down to talk a bit about technology in the future. Thanks again, Ted. It's my pleasure. Now, let's get back to some music, and later I'll leave you with the great Rosemary and her new selection of today. You know what? I would never have thought that. It's amazing. It really is. I mean, your parents must be very proud. Congratulations to all of you. Thanks, Phyllis. Coming back to your work, uh, you've been there from the beginning, am I right? Uh, yes, we were less than 15 people, I think. It was like uh, 30 Okay, years that was like, I just restarted it, I think. Started. Yeah. And now you're at... I wanted to read. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I care after all that. Good grief. There's so much stuff here. A note from Laura. I'm not happy I was right. Hi, Dad. So here I am crashing at your house again. I guess that makes you the winner of our last debate. Sorry, I wanted to call first, but it's been really rough days and uh, my cell phone died. I hope you don't, remind, don't mind me staying for a few days. I waited for you a few hours, but I really need to sleep now. I haven't slept for a while. I'll explain everything later. Okay. Just I'm not happy I was right. Is she in there? Can I open the door? I'm not happy I was right. I don't guess I can open the door. Purple hair? That's what I'm talking about. At this hour? Excuse me? What? What is this place? What have you got me into, Tom? 